There's a lot of emerald around here. Yeah, I've got two. That just fell in the hole. Oops. No, that was also the same, um, the, the same trip they met Taka of Nut. Oh! <laughs> I don't know if I told you that one either. Um, you talked about it in a video you did once, yeah. so I am familiar with the story. Yeah, but Taka fucking hated Japan. He was born in Japan, raised in Japan. He's what people, I suppose, at this point in time would call a Yankee. You know, that Japanese subculture. <laughs> but he, he, he tried so hard to speak English. Just tried his, you know, little heart out to speak English. <laughs> yeah. Fuck Japan! You know, fuck Japan! Fuck the, uh, uh, you know, basically any racial slur you could think of for Japanese people. None of which I'm trying to say because I don't want someone to take it wrong. But, that's, that's fine. Yeah, but uh, fuck Japan! Fuck blah blah blah! Uh, uh, wrong live Yankee America! Blah 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 blah! And it, it was comedically bad. But as I said, the the top moment, top moment of meeting Taka was when he was seeing them off at the uh, like subway station. Mm. He, he yelled, "Hey!" They all turned around. He was standing, balanced on a railing, two stories up, just standing on it, pointing at his crotch, and yelled, "Suck my balls!" <laughs> and then ran away. <laughs> but um years later my friend Eric got a letter from him which was basically you know he was planning to come to America to go to school and he was planning to fucking stay when he got there but um the letter was signed uh, from Taka of Nut mm -hmm. and there's never any explanation for it because unfortunately never my friend never got to see him when he was in town but uh, that was also the one. <laughs> he he actually has a video recording of most of the trip because he and his friends just decided to record everything. Mm -hmm. And there's one of their friend who apparently just he, you know he he a huge huge black guy, which apparently made him a center of attention pretty much constantly in Japan. Well, as you might expect. Yeah, but uh, apparently. He div he was the only person there because their teacher would just wander off and leave them to their own devices throughout most of the day. He was he could instantly fucking identify subway and bus routes just by looking at the map. And they spent the whole day drinking. So from the start of the day, he starts out referring to himself as their African guide. And by the end of the day, he is referring to himself as their African princess. <laughs> and, you know, this is something that they have hidden from him because he does not remember that day at all. <laughs> but, you know, and everyone's like, no, we can't ever call him this to his face because what if he remembers? What if he remembers? It'll completely ruin the joke. So yeah, every you know, it's like every now and then one of them will you know blurt out something about you know an African princess, and I'm like, I don't get it. But uh, yeah, he was their African princess by the end of the day, by his own words, and uh, that was probably one of the highlights of that. Uh, you know, hearing my friends, just, I, I ended up hanging out with him and a bunch of his friends who were on that or in that tour group, and they were all recounting the story, played the video. All right. Well, what did you buy while you were there? Because, you know, if I were in Japan, I'd buy all sorts of shit and all them porn. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, me too. I would buy that if I was there. Right, just, uh, just someone I used to know on IRC in the Navy. Uh, the porn thing reminded me of it. Was talking about one time when his ship was docked in Japan. And one of the sailors who was there for the first time uh, came back to the ship with all of this, like, underage porn. Uh-huh. Not, not realizing that, you know, because he could buy it in Japan, he would not get in trouble for it. Yeah. Bring it onto the ship or bring it home eventually. Ship is U.S. territory. Uh-huh. Yeah. He, he just didn't realize, apparently. Apparently not. But it's just like... 
How could you not? I mean, why would you? Yeah, why? That's not something that you reveal to other people. Nope, that is something. For one thing. <laughs> yeah, no. no. Especially when those other people tend to be armed. Yeah, and especially if any of them have children at home, they might not like this information. And, you know, said IRC person did have a son at home at the time, too, so. Well, the... I mean, you know, it wasn't that kind of thing, but. No, he just bought it. A... It was not legal by U.S. standards. Yeah. In any, in any case. Yeah. Well, that's the one thing I, I had a long talk with someone recently trying to explain to them, you know, U.S. pornography laws are different than the age of consent in the U.S., Mm -hmm. uh, I was like, okay, for example, what is the age of consent? Like, 18. No. The age of consent in most states is 15 to 16. Actually, that's not true anymore. Ah, uh, it still is in Maryland and all of the surrounding states. There are a few states where 16 is the age of consent, but most of them are 18 now. Well, yeah. But, you know, that was because someone was trying to convince me someone they knew got arrested for sleeping with a, uh, yeah, for statutory rape, and I'm like, how, are, how old were they? 17. I'm like, no, they didn't. <laughs> Not in this state. I, you know, I, there was something else going on there. I don't know. The girls, yeah, I don't know what it was, but my guess is he did something stupid and she got the cops on him. I guess they'd been coming out for like six or eight months, so she probably got angry at him. Mm -hmm. She was the type of person to do that. But yeah, that was just, uh... This is the I hear skeletons. I'm trying to find the damn way out. But, um... Well, I know where the exit is, I but... Don't. I'm just gonna head, uh... in the southernly direction. Oops. Ran out of torches again. I guess that means I should come back. Yeah, but in, uh... Yeah, in Maryland, it is definitely... You know, the age of consent is definitely, uh... 16, or at least was at the time of my last checking. I mean, it might have changed, but uh, that was ages ago, and I don't care, because of course I'm not interested in people that young. A, I'm in a yeah. relationship, and B, I've never liked young uh, younger women. I mean, it's, you know, I, I did not get along with them when I was a, teen when I was a teenager, <laughs> why would I get along with them now? So I say I'm coming back, and here I am instead collecting a bunch of redstone. Well, there's that. Uh, that's one of the things that Angel and I occasionally have conversations about, because they're like, well, you've got, you know, girls you talk to. I'm like, and? <laughs> uh, yeah, no, they're my, uh, if, if I talk to them, it's because they're my friends. Uh, and she's not really, she doesn't flip out like a, uh, like a standard girl does. Mm -hmm. They're like, all right. If you say so, I trust you. Like, yeah, okay, cool. Mm -hmm. That's the end of it. Mostly, it's uh, yes, but all of your or she insists all of her friends are prettier, or all of the female friends I have are prettier than her. <laughs> like, uh, but I'm not dating them. <laughs> I mean, what do you want out of me? I'm a simple creature. I can only do one thing at a time. No, I'm dating you. That's that's it. I, I can't keep track of multiple relationships. I'm not that bright. I mean, if all else fails, you know, rely on stupidity to be your escape. And it works. Because most of the time I have done nothing or I don't realize I've done something. And it's just a, why? That hurt puppy look works so bad, or so well. Hmm. I can make myself cry if I get in trouble. I don't mind. That's a useful talent. Yeah, I don't mind, like, looking like less of a man. <laughs> I don't care. Well, honestly, yeah, Jay, how look... could you look like less of a man? Uh, I could wear a dress. <laughs> I have one around here somewhere. It was a Halloween costume. It might suit you. Eh, probably. I, I remember when I worked at Walmart. I found melon seeds. Huh. Uh, that wasn't the story. No, when I worked at Walmart um, for Halloween one year, one of the guys in the optical department uh, mm -hmm. dressed up as uh, a little girl. But... What made that notable was his huge, thick beard uh -huh. that he always wore. Yes, that's one. Thought. And of course, didn't shave off just for a costume. Why would he? No, I don't know. It would ruin the costume. Exactly. Okay, so while I know where the exit to the mine is, I don't know where the exit to the mine shaft is. So that might be a problem. 
I might be finding my way back to the right place. I'm not sure. Nope, I just want Like, to, I've so. got things marked on the map, but there's the problem of I don't know how to get to them from where I am. Yeah, I don't even know where I am anymore. I'm pretty sure I'm caught in a donut. I might be too low. I might need to go up some well, somewhere. Then. No, but I, I, I've been very lucky in uh, many respects with Angel because she accepts an honest apology when I give it. Well, that's good. Because I have dated uh, quite a number of wo women where when I say something, like an honest, heartfelt apology because I have done something that seriously upset or wronged them in some way, apparently mm. that is not good enough because I obviously don't actually mean it. Right. That's a... Okay... Uh, I, okay. It's one of those things of, all right, well, this is a warning sign. Pretty much. Mm -hmm. Or my favorite thing is, uh, I, you know, being told they don't want to hear any excuses for why I didn't do something. Mm -hmm. Like, all right, how about reasons? <laughs> because what you asked me to do was actually impossible for me to do. So, that is the reason I didn't do it. Uh, I don't want to hear that bullshit. Blah, blah, blah. I'm like, okay. Like, when I was, you know, dating an ex of mine, there was a f one event that did not go well where I didn't have the time to clean the dishes for, like, three days. I literally had no time to do it. Mm-hmm. Because, A, I was completely exhausted, and B, I was completely exhausted and taking care of her kid. Mm -hmm. And, all right, I know she was working. She had it hard, too. So, but we got flies. And I never heard the end of it. And I was like, what do you expect me to do? I can't do any. You're supposed to do what you were supposed to do. Well, then I'm going to go set the dishes on fire. <laughs> because that'll kill the flies. Uh, I'm betting that wasn't seen as an acceptable answer either. Nope. Never is. No. That's one of those things. I've actually dated a number of women where it's like, we get along so well as friends, maybe we should date. And it's like, this was a mistake. Uh, no. <laughs> Never date a friend. <laughs> well, and say that because, all right. I have never actually asked a woman out in my life. The majority of them ask... Well, actually, Angel is the first woman I ever asked out. Okay. Every other woman I've ever dated has asked me out because I've never really been in that big of a hurry to date. You know, it, it was never an issue for me. I figured, it, you know, that would happen on its own eventually. But, you know, so every woman I've ever dated has asked me out. When I started talking to Angel, because originally it started out with us talking online, having met. Right. I was immediately like, I am, I have a huge crush on her. This <laughs> is going to go badly somehow. You know, things are going to go horribly wrong. And I had convinced myself, no, you won't do anything. You won't tell her you have a crush on her. You'll just do this. You've been wrong every time before. Why would you think you'd be right now? And then some part of the back of my mind was, well, you've just waited for girls to ask you out every other time. What if you asked them out? And just, uh, I can't find a flaw in this argument, but I'm sure it's all of it. <laughs> well, no. The funny part was I kept it up for so long that, it, you know, it's one of those things of I believe love grows. You know, there's not mm -hmm. automatic, you know, love that is probably hormonal. Yeah. But, uh, you know, so after having uh, talked to her for like three months, it was like, yeah, I'm in love with her. <laughs> now I'm going to have to tell her I love her out of the blue, and I'm going to sound like a crazy person. Because I'm not good at holding. Hi, right, we meet again. Uh huh. Uh, I'm trying to find the exit. I'm not good at, you know, hiding my, uh, you know, my feelings at all. So, I'm just going to say this out of the blue, and we'll see how this goes. 
And the funny part was her initial response was, you're lying. <laughs> uh, and I was not expecting that to be her initial response at all. It was kind of a, ha, huh, how do I handle this situation? Brain? It'll help. I was like, ah. Uh. No. <laughs> but, um, yeah, because I was like, you're lying. I'm like, uh, okay. Uh, <laughs> no, I'm not. Because she considers herself horribly unattractive and undateable. Because, you know, when you're not a fashion model, you're basically treated like, you know, crap. Uh, mm -hmm. you know, so she, you know, just like, no, no one would date me. You're, you're lying. Why do you want to lie to me? You want to hurt my feelings? And it then basically came down to three months or the next three months of me having to convince her I wasn't lying. Then we started actually going out. It was the weirdest, you know, courtship I've ever had or I've ever been a part of. It sure sounds like it. Yeah, and she'll still occasionally just look at me and go, why the fuck are you dating me? Because <laughs> like, I've dated crazy bitches. Yeah, that... You know, I don't think that's a good reason. Uh, I, uh... I mean, it, it may be truthful, but it's not a good reason to tell her. No, nah, it's not. That's never a good thing to tell your girlfriend, ever. Well, uh, though I will point out to her that she is, in fact, a crazy bitch. Uh, frequently, actually. I point that out to her. She's perfectly fine with that. She knows it's the truth. So, you know, it's not ever really an issue. I have been wandering through the same cave for fucking hours. I'm just gonna pick... Alright, what direction is it? It is that way. Alright, I'm just gonna start mining up. Well, I'm on my way out now. Oh. Now that I've... Now that i found the right waypoint to head to... Hey, look at that. Cheer. Yep. Well, yeah, that, that, oh, that's just an amusing story that one day we will look back on. Not, you know, I keep telling, I kept trying to tell her, you know, it's like, you know, love, I'm pretty much broken in the head right now. So the <laughs> fact that you can put up with me really says that we're probably meant to be. <laughs> I was, all right. Oh, yes. I actually made dual hill steps. I need to finish the house uh, a bit. Probably. But we actually should probably call it since it's 2.30. Well, yes, but I didn't want to be stuck in no, the me cave. Neither. Me neither. You know, that kind of sucks. But I ended up with uh, seven emeralds down there. Nice. I have two and four diamonds. Do we have a good loot chest. Well, we've got this double chest over here that has crap in it. Crap is like good loot. All right. Hey. Some diamonds. I also picked up a hell of a lot more lapis right. that we probably will never ever need. Yeah. Had for anything. 47 iron on me. <laughs> the funny part is hmm? Funny part is I still I've only been I've been surviving on berries this whole time. So have I. Yeah, I've still got like twenty. I didn't take any of the cooked food with me. Yeah, I've still got twenty-three berries. Uh, uh. uh, let's see. Okay, so I think we should wait for the sun to go down, sleep here to set our spawn point. Oh yeah. And then we can call it after that. Sounds like a good plan. Yeah. yeah put down some roof. Uh, gotta have some dirt. A little bit low, isn't it? Well, I figured I'd make this level. Also, there's a hole in the wall over here. Well, that's because there's a way down from there. But, okay. Do we want only one door? Because we can do something about that. Alright. There. Fixed. Well, fair enough. Did we want to make an actual good door somewhere eventually? No. Alright, so we're just going to live nowhere? I mean, how do we get out of the house? Is what I'm getting at. Why would we get out of the house? Good point. We have dogs and we've got everything we need. 
We got spider legs in the chest. You need a bed. This is my bed. Oh, mine's over there. I forgot where I put my bed. This is my bed. I built it myself. Yeah. All right. Ah, uh, spider legs. Uh, charcoal. Cat food. Angst. Uh, Argentina. What the hell was I looking for? Ah, yes. Cook some spider legs. Huh. Sir, this is how we get out of the house. <laughs> that works. <laughs> Getting back in will be the trick, though. Well, then you better be really sure when you leave. Yeah. Make sure you have everything you need. There's no way back in. <laughs> no way out. No way in. No way out. Can we sleep yet? Yes, we can. Hooray! Sleep. <laughs> yeah. All right. So I think that's good for this session, so I'm going to call it. Mm. And Bart.